yeah, occasionally I will travel in drag. I think people are intrigued or makes them go, oh yeah, what is that? What would be the implications of that and why don't I already know about it? I'm Isabel Adamarco Young and I'm an actor and drag king. I'd say with drag kinging, I definitely work in quite a kind of queer, latish night scene. Normally on a night when I'm doing a show, I would probably dress at home um, and then head on over to the venue, wherever it may be. London is a great city for alternative nightlife, without a doubt. Genuinely queer, like fringe and like experimental art being created. I think that's great. And, um, and for me, that's really where drag kings fit into the scene as well. I think all the best art makes you question your preconceptions and kinging is a really amazing space to do that. That's why I love to do it. And also because it's really fun and sexy. <laughs> I use the term actor and then I kind of add drag king, but equally it could be we throw our own events at Vox and Waterloo or just like whatever club night books us. So there's that and there's drag, there's theatre. It is quite unpredictable, but I love it for that. The shape of my life, of my week, of my career would be very, very different if I didn't have access to the public transport that I do. I think it really gives me that freedom um, and I massively appreciate that.